Welcome back to Matt Smart. So today we're going to be continue learning about what we started in the last video. We started learning about um, some indifference trig identities. Um, and to, and now we're going to apply one more identity when we're simplifying for this. Actually, um, yeah, just one more. But there's also like one more, you know, element that we're going to be using that we've learned before. So let's just dive right in. So we have cosine of negative 345. And while this might look daunting, right, we can like, it's just a step by step process, right? First, we get rid of the negative, right? Because cosine being an even function, cosine of, um, of negative theta just equals cosine theta, because it's a even is an even function. So that's why this is going to be um, let me write this a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I'll just start writing here. So it's cosine of um, 345 degrees, right? And then this, we can uh, then simplify, right, using reference angles, right? We learned about these before, but uh, since it's 345 degrees, it's in, uh, imagine the entire unit circle that we have, right? So in our unit circle here, in our unit circle here, you can imagine 345 degrees is going to be like somewhere here, right? Just before the 360 degree miles, right? It went all the way around, and then this is about 345 degrees. So, using reference angles, what do we know about when it's in the fourth quadrant? Well, we just um, do 2 pi, which is 360, minus that angle. So, it'll be 360 minus 345, which is 15. Cosine of 15. All right, and if you last uh, watch our last video, we kind of we split the angle into two different angles, that, and then we use the um, our identity. But here, um, fifteen doesn't really split into anything that we know, right? Because our our smallest angle is thirty degrees, right? So instead, we're gonna um, you know we're gonna implement this in a different way, right? And we're gonna be um, writing this as cosine of forty five degrees minus thirty degrees, right? Because both equal fifteen, so you can do that. The degrees, sorry, yeah, that's the degrees. So, yeah, so now uh, we just apply our um, uh, difference formula. So it's equals cosine of 45 cosine of 30 plus sine 45 sine 30, right? And that's really it. Now we just solve it, right? Cosine of 45 is um, 1 over root 2 times cosine of 30 is root 3 over 2 plus sine of 45 is 1 over root 2 times the sine of 30 is 1 half right common denominator we don't have to really do anything for that root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2 yep that's it that's your answer thank you i hope you learned something